Hello everyone, now I would like to talk to you a little bit about the basics of using Filmora Wondershare as a video editing program. This is a very reasonably priced program, there are several other programs out there. Uh, this is one that I use oftentimes on most of my videos, it's pretty straightforward and easy to use, so we're going to go over some of the basics. So basically what you want to do, we're going to show you how to create a video, how to overlay, how to do a uh, green screen, like chroma key sort of stuff. Uh, and and how to export a video. Some of the basics, how to add some text on top of it, how to add music, how to basically do some of the things that most people do when they're doing video editing. So basically, uh, first thing you'd want to do is import some media files. So you go up here to import and then go to media files and then you would navigate to wherever the files are located, the video files that you want to use for whatever video you are editing. So you go there, you find all those files, and then they will show up here in the front screen uh, of this section. So if you want to take a video, say you want to uh, take one of these and then move this over here. As you see, you, uh, you click on it and then you drag it over here. Otherwise, you can also uh, just click on this plus and it will add it automatically right here. Another thing is you can kind of click on it here and you see how it shows up here. Then you can do a little preview on the right side. Same thing with the music. So say we're going to take this and we're going to just click on the plus and we're going to add it here uh, to, to the bottom here. Okay, so this is going to be the main video that, uh, that we're running. If you want to add other layers on top of it, you can add a couple of other layers. I think you can get up to about five layers of other stuff. So if you want to grab a second layer, uh, and if you click plus, then what it's going to do is basically add it towards the end. If you need to zoom in or zoom out, by the way, this is a great way to do it. If you need to zoom in really big so you can get some detailed editing, that's how you do it. If you want to zoom out all the way, then you can move this thing this way. You can also do the minus and the plus over here in order to zoom in and zoom out if you want to move it that way. Uh, so let's say we're going to take this video over here and we're going to show you how to do a little bit of an overlay with some green screen. Uh, this video, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, uh, the black on the corners. So say if I was going to do the green screen and come in here, uh, you can click in order for to do a chroma key, make parts of the stream transparent. And as, as you can see, it picked uh, black as the color automatically. But what you can do is come over here and you see this little image. You can click on the color that you want it to basically uh, eliminate for you. So you can see I clicked on the green in the background, got rid of the green. That is awesome. That is perfect. Uh, so, but first, before we want to do that, we just want the green part to be in there. So you can double click on this, go to advanced, and then see this little, uh, this one right here. If you need to zoom those things in, you can see if you change the width and the height of this. So you can zoom this in and get it to where it's only got the green part and this part to where it's only got the green part. So now we do that, we click OK. Also, there's these other ones here. If you want to use this, you want to have it a heart shape or round. But basically, most of the time, I just need to bring it in with a square shape. So now, if we go in there and we do this green screen, we click on here, make parts transparent, click on the green, and then change the intensity level. As you can see, this is a little, it still exists a little bit. So if you change the intensity level, you can see it goes away a little bit more. If you go too far, then it's going to start uh, pulling out other colors that are close to the color that you picked. So you want to find the balance so that the screen in the background is gone, but then everything that you want is still in there. Also, another option, sometimes people want to add shadowing to it. I don't usually like the shadowing, but it's great for me. I like to do a border, so I like to apply a border to the clip. You can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, so I like to make it, you know, about one or two. And then you can also blur the border as well if you want. So this is the way I usually like to do it when I'm doing that. Uh, you can also grab this clip and you can move it around. So that is a layer, and that is how you do the green screen for that part. Uh, say you need to get to a point where you want to cut things off. So you can actually do this, and then if you need to cut off just one section, this scissor tool is great. This is what you want to use to cut images. So you split, or you can do a control B as a shortcut. So you can see how that splits that. If you need to do undo that, you can do a control Z, just like any other program. Or if you want, you can do this. You can also clip two pieces of video at the same time. You can click on this, you can hold control, and then you can click on the other one. And now that we've got both of these highlighted, you can clip on it like that. Another option in order to pick all those, you can just come down here and create a window and you can zoom it out and select any pieces of clips that you want. Because sometimes you might have, you know, five clips down here under the main clip that you're overlaying on top of it. So you, sometimes you want to select them and you don't want to go through and do the control thing. So you can clip those that way 
and then say you want to move it here and then you want to clip it in this spot as well now what you're going to want to do say you want to remove this little part here just go highlight those little portions and then press delete it will automatically move this in in some versions this bottom part might not move in and in some parts you may not want to be deleting this part on the bottom uh, so so you might have to move it out of the way so that you just clip the part of the video that you want to clip but generally when you're clipping both of them together it just sh scoots over by itself so uh, that is one way to basically do some editing. You can clip some parts, you can add some parts. If you want to add some more video, if you want to clip it together, those are the basics. And this is also the basics of using the green screen. We might do that in a separate video by itself as well, just to emphasize that feature. Uh, say now you want to add some music on top of it. So same thing in music, they've got all of these uh, custom ones that they already have for you that you can use. I'm not sure about uh, fair usage, like if you can use these without, um, you know, at, uh, including attributes uh, to who created the music. Uh, but what you would want to do is go to the bottom. What I usually do is go to import music and then click on that. And then you can see here, this is a bunch of music that I know that I can use without having any copyright issues. So if you want to import music, you just go click on import, import media files, navigate to wherever your music is located and open that, those files, and then they will show up here. So if you want to grab a piece of music, just like the videos, you can click on it and you can actually preview it here. If you want to play it and preview it to just hear what it sounds like. If you want to add it to the project, you click add and it will add that to the project right there where the indicator is. Also, if you want to drag it, you can grab it and you can drag it and put it wherever you want. So that's the music that we're gonna add. Uh, oftentimes the music is kind of loud and it will be too loud compared to the video. So you can also double click on these and then in here you've got the audio. So you can also in the audio section, you can change the volume down so that the music is kind of like quiet in the background, not super loud. And if you want to make it louder, you can also, uh, you know, split the music up. So say we wanted to make this quiet and then a certain part loud and then another part quiet again. So you can come in here, use the scissors, clip it, uh, come to the next part, use the scissors, clip it. Uh, then you can double click. And then just that section, you can change the volume on this one. Then you can click on this one and you can change the volume on that one separately and then click on this one change the volume on that one separately also if you want to speed it up you can make it one and a half or two times speed you can also slow it down and make it half speed also you've got the option to fade in if you want it to be a long fade in you can turn that up if you want it to be a short fade in turn it down same thing with fading out also if you want it to sound like more a mouse or a chipmunk you can change the pitch up uh, you can also change the pitch down if you want it to be a little bit lower. They also have this option to add some background noise removal. So if you have like a fan or something in the background, they have some automatic noise removal. Uh, just listen to it. Make sure you like the sound. If the noise is really loud, you may want to re-record your audio. Or, uh, you know, sometimes you might get like an in a can sound effect when you do this and if you crank it up too strong. So usually if I'm going to do noise removal through... Uh, Filmora Wondershare, I will do the noise removal and I will have it on weak and that is usually enough. If I have to go to mid or strong, then it kind of alters the sound of the audio a little bit. Uh, so you can do that. Click OK once you've got all of your settings exactly how you want them. And so that is how you've got that. Also, if you double click on these, you see how you've got the motion. When a clip starts, if you want it to come in and zoom up, you can click one of these little effects to have the, the window just come in with a really cool effect. And there's lots of different options in here. Uh, also, if you look at the upper right here in audio, you can change the audio settings on the video. So in this video, if you need to crank up the volume a little bit, sometimes you have to do that. If you want it to fade in or fade out, or if you want to change the pitch or remove background noise, just like the audio, it's the same settings. Also, we have these equalizers here where sometimes they basically have some pre settings for different types of music or sound. So if you kind of want the bass to be a little lower or uh, some sparkle or some pop, I recommend if you want to check these out, go listen to the audio and then change these and then listen to it again, change them, listen to it again. Usually I just go with the default, uh, but some of those will really help with some certain sounds and things that you're going for. So that is uh, how to add a main video how to add an overlay video, how to change the audio on them. Just remember you can double click. You can also change the speed. As you can see in the motion for these videos, uh, you go in here and you've got some different options for these overlaying videos 
when you compare it to what you have for the main video. So in here you've got all these zoom in, zoom out, you can change the shapes around there, you can kind of uh, determine whether it's going left or right and change all that stuff. Uh, but when you click on the main video, you've got some different options in the video. You don't have all of the same options. You can actually play it in reverse. You can try to auto enhance it. So maybe, you know, they want to find a way to adjust the color. See how this is a little blurry and when we click on it, ooh, it auto enhances the video really, really nice. So it actually kind of sharpens the image a little bit for you. Uh, you can also change the color contrast the saturation so there's a lot more options that you have here for the main video that you don't really have for the video that is overlying the other ones of course this main video you don't have the option to do the chroma key so if you want to do any chroma key or green screen stuff that has to be one of the videos that is overlaid on top of it uh, we've got all sorts of different options here if you want to change the coloring and all that stuff but usually you can kind of get it to where you want here in this also you've got the option to rotate or to uh, flip these horizontal, horizontally or vertically. Say also that your main clip needs to be kind of cropped a little bit, so you've got like a part showing that you don't want to show. You can click on this when you're highlighting the main video, and you can click on the crop button, and then you can go crop it any way you want. Usually it's got this 16.9 or 14.3, so if you move like one end, then it'll move the other end. Like if you change the width, it'll also change the height to make sure that that ratio stays. But if you want to just do one side, then click on manually, and then you can manually adjust just the width or the height. Uh, also, if there's a certain point in the clip that you want to use as reference for changing that, say this is the point where I want to change it, and I want to get rid of this thing in the background, in the bottom, but I don't want to change the whole clip. I can click on manual, and I can bring that up just a little bit. This is where you change it, and this is where you see the finished product. If you make any changes, make sure that you go back and save your video so you can come in here, you can save, you can save it to a certain location, and then that way if you've made any changes and just in case something crashes, uh, usually everything will be recovered. However, you just want to be sure that you save after you're making changes. Uh, also, we have here, if you want to add some text or something on top of it, there's all these different types of text that you can add. Usually what I'm trying to do is you can do credits at the end or subtitles. This is what I tend to use the most. You can pick a subtitle and move this down here and uh, and you can basically put this in a certain part of the clip and then you can extend it you can grab this also and make it a little bit uh, say we're gonna zoom in we'll zoom in here and you can grab it and see this eye that will make it longer and if you want to grab it make it turn it turns into that little eye and then turn it down to make it shorter so if you want to change this again come in here double click and you can come in here and you can highlight what it is. Let's see, testing, one, two, three. And then there's also this background thing that comes in it as a part of the animation, so you wanna kind of move that around. You can also move this around somewhere else to a different location, and then you're gonna to wanna to click on the words and then move this over where the little background animation exists as well. And you also have the option to do many different sort of uh, fonts and styles. You can make it bigger. You can change the color of the lettering. You can also uh, pick some of these cool options that we have here on the left side if you want to go for that sort of color. And you can change the line spacing, of course, and you can change the letter spacing. So there's lots of options there if you want to add some text or some subtitles or anything on top of your video. Also, if there is something that you prefer and this is just the lettering that you want on everything, you can also save it as a preset if you would like to do that and then save that uh, there. So click OK. That is how you add text. If you want some cool transitions, if you want to go like in between, say, let's see, we're going to zoom out here. Uh, say we've got this clip here in the beginning. By the way, down here is how you can move around forward and back. So usually transitions go in between the videos in the main video. So let's check out one of these here. Say we want this cool little dissolve thing to work. So we can grab that and we can drag it. And basically it, you can put it in between the two clips or after or kind of before. So basically you put that in between the two clips. And as you can see, we're going to play this. Let's see what change this moment. There's so many different options here. So if you like those transitions, use those. Also make sure, uh, sometimes the transitions might cover up a piece of the video so make sure that uh, nothing is getting cut out when you add transitions into it uh, also there's many different filters if you want certain lighting to uh, exist between your your videos you can add this filter and it can add a little bit more lighting to it so the same sort of thing you drag it down here 
and you can make it as long or as short as you want by uh, grabbing it and extending it this way. So if you click play, you can see that. See how it's the colors uh, Dr. Neo Cortex. Yes, no, those. And you can, you know, add fire. There's several different ones that you can download. There are so many different uh, filters that you can add on top of these. So if you want like a certain sort of effect or a certain film effect, then this is a good option to check some of these out. There's also several different overlays that you can use. So some of these overlays, say you just want to have, you know, this kind of cool looking film look over the top of your main video. You can take one of these and you can scroll that over down here. Let's see, we're gonna turn this audio down so it's not super loud for you guys while we're trying to play it. So you can check this out. Do that here we've today. Got this old video film sort of overlay. Uh, we've also got elements over here. So if you've got something really cool that you want to add over the top, like uh, you want to add this little little heart or something over top of the video. So you can click on that, you can scroll that down, and then you can see, oh, see how that just pops out there. Also, if you want to go with some sort of split screen option, there's lots of different split screens that you can add on here. So you can kind of uh, put this over here and pick the different videos and pick where they go. So which one's video one, which one's video two. You can drop a video here in one, you can drop a video here in drop zone two, and then for that section of the video, that is exactly what you'll see. So now that you know how to use all of the basic tricks, how to cut, how to add videos, how to add music, how to do chroma key, how to add other elements and overlays and filters and transitions and subtitles, when your video is done and it's ready to go, what you're gonna wanna do is export your video. So make sure you save it, and then you come over here to export, and then you go to create video. So now that you're in this window that pops up, you can, ev you can create videos for YouTube, for export, for Facebook, for Vimeo, different stuff. What I like to do is just export to a file and then upload that from the file. So you can come up here and you can do the title. So test uh, tutorial, we can call that. You can pick where you want to save it. You click on there and then you can pick the location that you want to save it. Once you pick the location that you want to save it to, you can come here into the settings. If you just want like an audio and mp3 output you can do that you can do a gif you can do webcam you can do mp2 what i usually do is sometimes i'll do you know i'll just want the audio output so i'll do an mp3 most of the time what i'm going to do if i'm uploading onto youtube i'm going to do an mp4 so i'll do an mp4 and if you want to change the settings the default resolution is 1280 by 720 so it'll sh show you the size it'll show you the duration if you want to change that you can come into settings and you can pick the quality that you want. Usually the resolution I wanna go for is 1920 by 1080. However, if you've got like a 4K video, the output goes up to 4K. So you can actually do a 4K video, you can do 4096 by 2160. And uh, so what I usually go for in most of my videos, 1920 by the 1080, that's uh, good HD. You can also click on, you know, they've got some pre-settings for best, better, and good. Usually I wanna go with the best and uh, make sure the frame rate usually I match with what it was recorded as but if you want 30 frames per second you can do that if you want 60 frames per second you can do that as well uh, you can also pick the sound quality the bit rate you can pick it as high as you want if you want the sound quality to be a little bit higher you can also pick the sample rate the encoder uh, stuff so basically I do AAC sample right here and I do a high bit rate and uh, I click on best and go with what those basic settings are so if you've got all your settings ready here to go you click on OK now it shows the resolution for the output the size of the file and how long it's going to be when you're ready for export all you have to do is click on export and now it starts the converting process depending on your settings for your computer this might take a little time this might take a long time uh, so this is where you basically walk away and you wait for your video to be done with the processing so we're going to turn this off and we're going to stop removing so we're not going to do that the conversion running are you sure you want to cancel it yes okay so we're going to cancel that and that is the basics of using filmora wondershare in order to edit your videos how to add some of the tools and some of the whistles add music and uh, there's probably a lot of stuff here that i showed you that you might not want to use but the basics of adding files cutting deleting moving things around adding some music changing the audio that's all there for you if you have any additional questions then do not hesitate to ask I'd be happy to help you and I will do some more videos in the future going into some of the other details just basically another specific video on just doing the green screen I'll show you some of the different cool tools that they add so they have uh, different filters and overlays and transitions and you can also go and purchase additional ones because they're constantly coming up with updated 
you know, effects packages or things like that. So at some point I will probably come and show you some really cool effects packages and how to use them. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys later.